We started back in uh, November 28th, 2013, Thanksgiving weekend. We packed up, sold the house. Well, for us, it's like what allows us to do this, right? I mean, we're not retired. Um, we're just uh, working during the day and then having fun. All right, uh, I'm Denny. <laughs> and I'm Veronica. And we're also known as RB Outlaws. And we've, and we've been, been living, living on the road the, the past, past nine years. years. So back in 2013, when we hit the road, the logistics alone of just planning this whole adventure was pretty, uh, pretty mind blowing between both jobs, trying to work remotely. It was, you know, for us, the main thing was our connection to work had to be there. Our biggest inspiration was probably your story, because... Uh, um, well, I'm the one that originally convinced Denny to do this. You know, I grew up in Argentina, and my parents, you know, used to go camping uh, every summer. And, uh, you know, I just loved being out there in nature, so we had to do it ourselves. You know, back then, you didn't have, like, the campgrounds you have here, and, you know, like, the navigation systems and all of that. So it was a lot of fun trying to figure out first, like what proper roads were to take up. My parents had like a camper back then. They pulled this, now to me, it's like a classic, right? But um, yeah, so I remember like going in mountains and like one time, like they had to put me on the side of the road because the trailer was falling off the mountain. And these are like memories that I have being very little, but you know, they weren't scary. I mean, to me, it's something that you know, it's stuck with you forever. So now I'm trying to see how I can do it, you know, do it together. Now it's adventurous. I remember Veronica looking at me working from home. She would go to work and I was looking out the window. Just, I, was I would have to go to the office, right? And like, you hated it. You hated it. <laughs> I mean, I started, that's when I started researching tiny homes mm. and RVing because I'm like, hey, if you can work from home, I can work from home. I need to figure this out. Right. So yeah, that's how the idea started. That's the only the way we can do it. It allows us to do what we do. And Nine to five, or eight thirty to five, we are pretty much sitting in these chairs, plugging away at the monitors. Having a small home on wheels means that our e-bikes become our main source of transportation, and why we call them our adventure extenders. So yeah, there was only one choice. The the adventure is by far. It was a look cool. Yeah. <laughs> the biggest selling point that got me on the adventure was the attention to detail. Like the the wrap job on the cabling from what I saw from our last bikes, uh, it just looked out and, and the, the price point was on. I mean, the price point got us in the door. Okay, these are our contenders. And as we were narrowing down the choices, it was, it just came clear. Right? It, it just looked just, really sleek. I mean, you had this nice display, uh, color you display. You like the color display, that was a good song. Yeah, and yeah. the throttle, you know, important for me too. Right, the integrated battery alone. Was aesthetically better, so. What do we value after nine years of doing this? Gosh, after valuing, oh. the value you learn is that your family is important. Rock is my family, my kids are my family. We take care of each other and, you know, like everything else is just fun, but this is what's most important in life is, you know, us being happy together and I love you, so it's cool. Oh. And we've and been we're living, living and, and working, working on the roads the road last for nine years. <laughs> sure. And we've been living on the, the road the last nine, nine years. years. Past nine years, last nine years. We've got this again. That's, That's why we don't do this stuff. Whole paragraph. Man. <laughs>